Hey, hey guys, it's Christina with the Purple Alphabet and I have a do-it-yourself activity that you can put together really quickly for your kids and keep them busy. All you're gonna need for this one is um, some Glad Press and Seal. If you don't have this, you can also try contact paper. I use this because I have a really difficult time finding contact paper. If you have a spot that you know you can get it besides online, please let me know in the comments. I'd be more than happy to know where everyone is buying their contact paper. But for now, I'm gonna be using this Glad Press and Seal. I'm gonna need some tape. I prefer blue painter's tape because it comes off a lot easier. And then you're gonna need some tissue paper. I bought this pack of tissue paper squares from Lakeshore Learning. Um, it says it has 10,000 squares in 20 different colors. And I bought it because the work was done for me. Now, if you don't wanna spend, I think this was, I don't know, maybe around the $7 mark. Um, if you don't wanna spend that much money on tissue paper, then by all means, get the sheets, cut it up, tear it up, whatever you wanna do. But this was just easy for me. And let me open it and show you. They're kind of flying around here. All the different colors cut up in little squares, easy, done, don't have to even think about it. And I'm gonna tell you what, this stuff, it lasts a long time. I've used it already for several different projects. You can tell some of the squares don't have as much. And it's just, I mean, easy, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna decide where you wanna do this. I prefer doing this um, at my window because it kind of looks like stained glass when we're done. Um, so I have a big doors in my back and their windows and I just tape them right up to the sliding glass doors. I'm gonna use this wall behind me here. Actually, it's kind of like a closet door. You can also lay it down flat on a table if you wish, but there is something about working upright that's great for trunks trunk strength of your kids. So if you're doing a lot of things that are on tables, um, perhaps put up on an easel or put it up on a wall or put it up on that glass door to make it look like stained glass, just to get a different variety um, of activity for your kids. So this stuff kind of sticks to itself. And you're gonna roll out a reasonable size sheet here. I usually do several across my back door um, just because I have a couple of kids, but if you wanna keep it to one, you can. You don't have to be perfect here, guys. And then I have my sheet and I'm gonna tape it up to the back here. All right, so I have it taped up here. You guys don't have to tape it um, perfectly. If it's messy, don't worry. I did the top and the bottom for sake of example. You could do all four sides, which makes it a little bit easier from going anywhere. Um, but really, this is just a fun project for kids, so don't stress out if it's not flat. Next, what you're gonna do is, I put all of my tissue paper squares, usually I take it out for them and then I put them inside uh, like a little bowl or a container so that way they're not using the whole container and there's not a huge mess. But anyhow, what you're gonna do is just take this the squares and you can choose whatever colors you wish. And I'm just gonna take the squares and put them up on here and they're gonna stick on to your project. If you wanted to do theme colors, maybe it's Valentine's and you wanted to do red or white, you could do that as well. But essentially what you're making here is a collage. And they cling right up to the press and seal. Now this is not a permanent thing, so just be forewarned. These can come right off and put back on. Now if you're using contact paper, they're gonna stick uh, pretty well and stay there but these are movable. It's more like a, a static cling kind of thing. Um, I like it because they are movable because they like to take them off and put them back on. Now, sometimes you've seen activities where people take the tissue paper and scrunch it up like so, and then stick it on the paper. This is not for the cling wrap. If you wanna do that kind of thing, use contact paper or use some glue. This project is more for the flat pieces. All right. Also, when we're done with these projects, I take down the squares and then we can reuse them for art projects that are actually more permanent, like gluing onto a piece of paper or doing a collage like that. All right, everyone. So that is a really quick and easy, busy project uh, that you can make on your window, on your door, on your paper, using some Glad Press and Seal uh, paper, a little bit of tape and some tissue papers. Make sure to click subscribe if you like this video and want to see more like it. Give me a thumbs up to show your love and I will see you next time.
learning the alphabet. And then they use their fine motor skills the, to push open that clothespin and to put it on to match. 